Um, so I don't, I feel like there's, there's little things, but you, they don't really, um, they're not major things. And I think they're really like both sided. Mm. So for example, when I saw someone in the car before I started to wear it, I had different opinions. So I had someone, I saw someone who actually covered her face with the hijab, wrapped it around, covered her face. And I, you know, I used to feel a little bit uncomfortable myself talking to her because I, I almost didn't know how to like look at her and talk to her. Um, so I'd sort of like observe in the conversation. But um, when it came to me wearing the niqab, when you're looking out from the niqab, because your eyes are not covered, you forget that you're wearing it. So for me, I often will forget what people are seeing when they look at me. It's only when I go past like the reflection, do I remember, oh yeah, that's what everyone's seeing of me. Um, and I forget, you know, but um, in terms of uh, this lady that I saw, uh, she was praying in the masjid and she wore niqab and I remember seeing the way she prayed and it just looked so pious and everything. And I used to think, you know, it's something you want to aim for. You want to be better. Um, and then um, when you do wear the niqab, you're still fully aware of your own flaws. Um, you don't suddenly think that you're better, exactly. you know? So when people who have, who don't wear the niqab look at you, not everyone obviously, but some do think you think you're better. Mm. Now, I, this sounds really silly, but I feel like I already experienced that as a non-Muslim because before I was Muslim, so I'm mixed race, and I always found myself in situations where it seemed like people thought that I liked myself, you know, or was full of myself, or, you know, um, just because I was mixed race, mm -hmm. as if the beauty standard was different. Yes. And I used to think, nope, maybe you think I am beautiful and you feel a bit jealous by that mm -hmm. but I don't feel that way that's not it's not me that's walking around thinking I you know I'm beautiful mm -hmm. you have an issue with me and therefore you're you're put, portraying that onto me I'm not you know so when so I find it the same with the niqab like if someone you know doesn't give me salams or something like this I only see it as in now that you know there's an issue within themselves mm -hmm. that they have to deal with yeah. um but I am a person who I have to work on giving salams too. So this is what I find in the community is that if you go past like another niqabi, they might say salam alaikum to you and you say wa alaikum salam to Allah. And it's a lovely thing. We're supposed to say this when we see another Muslim. But then if I go past someone with hijab, um, I'm a person who doesn't tend to say it first because I'm quite shy. So I find that they never really say it to me then either. Mm -hmm. But that's not their fault. It's a two way thing. And so, but that's what something I've noticed. If I'm in an area where there's niqabis, they will say salams to me and I'll greet them back. And if I go past the sisters with just hijab on, then they don't. Mm. And I don't know if it's because they feel a bit threatened or if they feel they don't know how to approach someone in niqab either, the same way as like, you know, a non-Muslim. But I find that a little thing, but I think it's, as I said, it's a two-way thing. And I think obviously just as Muslims, we all have to give each other salams. Um, and not create any barrier between us that, oh, you know, one is better than the other.